Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we are going to be exploring Nabla Mind Screen Recorder. So I'm currently recording with the screen recording software. And once I'm done recording, we'll see if we can screen record the editing software itself to see what it's like. So I'm currently recording in full 1080p here on my 1920 by 1080 display. And currently it shows me here. Uh, the megabits per second and also it shows my hard drive storage space here and then it shows me the ability to screenshot so I just did a screenshot there and then there's also an auto stop feature here so if I press that then it'll just say stop recording automatically and then I can turn that on if I want to but I don't know when it'll stop so I'm just going to stop it manually so I'm just gonna cancel that and so far it's picking up my microphone okay here but the other options are not really available it just has screenshot shows the time code here and then it shows the pause button to pause recording so we're just gonna test it out and see how it works from here so unfortunately the Surflex screen recording software doesn't have an inline editor so here is the menu options here it allows you to go full screen and then you can also click select region here to select your region and you just click and scroll like this and then it allows you to crop something and then it selects that region that you can record there so you see the lines here you see the resolution dimensions there and then you can just click full screen if you want to go full screen and then it allows you to go and choose your webcam whereas the webcam is right here as you've seen previously and then you can just record without a webcam and then it just turns it off and then for the sound it picks up the microphone and then record without audio and so it goes through here and you can select the sound microphone system sound system sound with microphone or you can just record without audio so the record without audio is mostly for gameplays if you want to do that but if you click on the record audio here it just shows the wavelengths here and then you can just pick your microphone and then you can select record and you can just record sounds and then with the webcam it just allows you to just record with your webcam so you just have to make sure that you select your proper webcam and then it'll go up to a certain resolution so let's just go here and go 1280 by 720 it'll pick the dimensions and then the webcam should adjust to the dimensions properly and then you can choose your audio and then microphone and then you just press record like this and then you're good to go there so like I said it doesn't have really any editing functions but we'll just go through the functionality of the program so if you click on the settings menu here there's general the output folder the language and then you can choose the output format of the videos you can choose between 1 to 60 frames per second then you can choose HD default or you can select original which is high quality or standard definition if you want to save space on your computer and then that's the general setting and then for video it just allows you to do GPU acceleration here so you can just turn that on and then it uses your GPU to uh, basically utilize the hardware for video encoding for smooth performance and higher quality and then you can save an extra audio file if you want it as an audio so that's a handy feature so you can leave that on and then for audio there's the output format you can set the output format to whatever format that you like I usually just set it to mp3 and then for bitrate high quality bit rates up to 320 kilobits per second then you can choose the sampling rate of however you like depending on what you are familiar with and then these are your key controls here so if you press control plus one that starts and stops pause record control two capture screenshot control P and you can also capture your mouse cursor or you can just turn it off so that it doesn't capture it and then there's a countdown for recording up to five to ten seconds and then that is the settings panel here so you can go to cancel and then for the menu there's just online help technical support feedback and then you can just check for updates to make sure that you got the latest version which I do have here latest version is 2.0.2 and then you just go to the technical support page and then it'll just take you straight to a technical support page on the software itself if you have any questions about it and it just loads it into a separate uh, Google page here so it opens it up here there's the Nabla Mind Support Center and then you can just go here and then it'll have all the information that you need so you can get further help with the customer support team if you want some more help there and then just go from there and then they also have licensing so you can purchase a month license a year license and yeah I already have it registered already so they gave me a test license to use thank you very much for that and then it shows about just the uh, version build and the year it was made 
and that is pretty much it. It doesn't really have an editing feature, but you can also go to video list here, and then once all the stuff you record is here, you can press on the folder here to go to the folder where your screenshots are saved. So it'll open up the folder in a separate window. So you just click on the folder here, and then it'll open up the corresponding location, the location of the file, which is really handy. And then what you can do is you can also just uh, delete them separately by clicking on the X here, and then that just deletes it. It'll just give you a prompt saying you want to, and then delete it. And there you go. That's how you do it. And you can also video and audio and image. You can sort here. And it'll just give you the option to record now where it'll take you straight to this software. So that is it for that. So we are recording some footage from Peggle here. So this is one of the screen capture tests for capturing games. And I was playing Peggle here and it was able to capture the audio. And the frame rate seems to slow down a little bit when I was using the software here. So I should have probably set the performance enhancements, but it does capture it reasonably well. It just sometimes needs to capture it properly. So this is just what I found out about that. Thank you.